to a very special edition of Survivors in the West. Now Golden State's starting five. Curry and Clay of the Splash Brothers in the backcourt. Wiseman's out there with Eric Casper. And it's Wiggins in at the three spot. And for the Clippers, we've got Kawhi Leonard. Paul George is out there. Patrick Beverly. And it's Ibaka. And it's Junior in at the four slot. And he banks in the lane. Some guys just play with security folks. Right there, Junior gets bumped, doesn't phase him one bit. Beverly against Curry. Thompson outside, lets the three fly. The Clippers grab the miss. Loads it up for Junior. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's Wiseman. And finished off by Wiseman. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Oh, yeah. Bang, bang. An impressive sequence that has them fired up. Now, here is George. Here's Junior. Second shot opportunity. Not a piece of it. Pass to Wiggins. Back to Curry. Wiggins against Leonard. And Wiggins with the basket on the assist by Curry. Uh, yeah, can't afford to leave someone open around Curry. He's great at keeping his head on a swivel. Now, here's Junior. Defended by Pascal. To Ibaka on the arc. Steph Curry with the rebound. The Warriors have gone two or three here to start off the game. Here's Wiggins and the layup fall. Wiggins has got his second basket of the night. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. It's just one for five from the field now. I mean, they've come out flat. They need to pick up the energy. Leonard attacking. No good. Shot missing. Wiggins with some nice deeds. to Wiseman. Back to Curry. Shot clock at five. Let's it go with a three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Now, here's Junior. Guarded close. productive quarter he'll ever have, but his shot selection's been a little bit... Hands it from downtown. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I caught up with Coach Steve Kerr. He said a lot of people are doubting us, and that's a good thing. That's motivation for our guys to come out and try to prove people wrong. But it's going to take a big effort. It's going to take execution. It's going to take hitting critical shots, which, as we know, is especially difficult on the road. Guys? All right, David, thanks. Thompson outside. Curry looking around. the floater and they call the foul so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play the Warriors shooting their first free throw of the night here free throw good by Curry and what you admire about Curry is how easily the game comes to him he's earned that he works so hard he can play with such a carefree attitude he just punched the ticket on that one that'll get the job done powerful two and jam and it's the Warriors ball they're on a 12 to 4 run now here's Curry. 
Jr. with it. And stolen by Wiggins. And it's the Warriors on the break. The feed now to Wiseman. Thompson passes to Pascal. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Curry. And it comes off the front of the rim. Clippers trail by six. Here's Junior. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. High effort play. One thing Junior is known for, his ability to outwork others. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. the basket. Six to shoot. Six it from just inside the baseline. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a score. Here's Junior. He's got nine. Comes up empty down low. He doesn't get the finish, but the D's got to be quicker to rotate and stop him from getting to the rim. Yep, it counts. Thompson's got five now. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Now, here's Junior. Good on the shot. And that's just a great job. Reading the situation by Junior. Excellent instincts and pick and roll. Warriors leading by five. Pass to pass. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Gets that one and off to a strong start offensively he's got a nice touch los angeles has gone 0 of 2 from deep here and junior throws it down hard uh, look at the bench loving that dunk junior is firing up his teammates the high. and there's the pass to weisner pass to pasco a shot get it back and finished off by Wiseman when he's on the floor offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for him Greg he keeps so many possessions alive doesn't he yeah yeah he does and the defense has to be aware of this when you don't put a body on him you pay the consequences big group substitution here for the Clippers Zubats is checked in for a bucket Marcus Morris comes in for Kawhi Leonard Luke Kennard he's checked in for George Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Then for the Warriors, Marquise Chris, he's checked in for Wiseman. Raymond Green comes in for Eric Pascal. And Oubre subbed in for Clay Thompson. Here's Zubats. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. I think Junior takes more pride in a pass like that than he does in scoring a bucket. I mean, that's that unselfish attitude. It's three outside. The Clippers grab the miss. Junior's got eight rebounds in this game. Well, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it a three-point play. Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. The Clippers have shot just one free throw early. One for one in the game. I mean, having a floor general like Rondo on the court instantly elevates your offense. He does everything he can to bring out the best in his team. Here's Thompson. He's got five. Here's Oubre. He had told in by Zubac. The Clippers trail. Now, Junior. Morris. And he hits it to tie the game up. Oh. When Morris gets it down in the paint, he's dead. They're using his big arms to get these shots up. And in. Golden State's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Down low. Foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on right shot Rondo. Yeah, way to play an attack mode and get to the line. Uh, Steal. Quick release. Clay Thompson is a special shooter in the field and at the line. Now, here's Junior. Guarded by Green. Here's Junior. Moore is trying to free himself up. All night as the defense has adjusted, Junior has adjusted back. I mean, that speaks to the versatility of his skill set. Pass 
to Chris. Back to Wiggins. Outside, Green. Pass to Chris. Oubre for three. Connects from three-point range. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Kanon. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Thompson. And Thompson throws it down. Thompson uses quick recognition and a natural feel for the game to beat people up in transition. Here's the pass to Junior. And Junior throws it down. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Wiggins passes to Thompson. Over Rondo. And there's Thompson. That's good on the assist by Wiggins. And that's 11 points for Clay Thompson. And he delivers another blow. Something's gotten into him this quarter. He's carrying him offensively. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Yeah, this is what you love to see. Both teams going at it, working to get to their spots and cashing in. And now here's Chris. And here's Oubre. And the shot goes in. He's so aggressive at that end of the floor. And that's a quality all great scores have. And Junior throws it down. You're out there with Rondo, you find some open space, and he's going to find you. They can go two for one. It's about being smart right now. Pass to Chris. Back to Wiggins. Yeah, they got that one, but early on, it's, it's really been a struggle for them to secure that defensive backboard. And Junior throws it down hard. The rim for the flush. It's the easiest shot in basketball. You got hops. Wiggins against Rondo. Now here's Wiggins. He has six. Here's Chris. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for the Golden State Warriors. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing. And for anyone who thinks this game isn't about hard work, listen to Steph Curry. Can't tell how many shots I've taken. And as we know, Greg, Steph comes from a family of great shooters. It's in the blood. But, but as you said, it's about the work. The NBA players have had tons of kids. Most don't make it in this league. Steph is on his way to being one of the best to ever grace the hard work. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for. What do you guys think about the Warriors here so far? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. With the game being fast-paced these days, you can expect this from a lot of teams. But they did it very well. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Green down low with Looney. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. And it's Oubre in a small forward. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Junior, in his last outing against the Nuggets, put on a show. He had 69 points, and that was just the start of it. He wound up with a triple-double in what was quite a display for him. When you look at the stat sheet, he was mind-blowing. It's hard to imagine he can follow it up tonight with that same level of production. Kevin, we'll see. Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Yeah, right. Now, I'm, I'm sure he wants to come out in attack mode. The other key for him is to continue to get to his spots on the field. Oubre kicks to Thompson. Trains it from beyond the arc. Now it's a six-point Warrior lead. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. Passes to Kanon. Inside, pick off in midair. And now here's Oubre. Fast break chance. On the wing, Green. From out. 
outside off the mark. They push it up for on three, the 17th foot. Los Angeles with another miss. And here's Curry who brings it up for Golden State. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. They kick it out to Green. Oh, good on the triple. Clippers trail by six. Pass to Kanaan. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. The pass to Oturu. Six on the shot clock. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. And Junior throws it down. And Morris does a great job keeping his head up, finding his teammate for quality shots. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups and matchups or call a play. You know, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to... the wing Wiggins kicks to Wiseman Chris pass to Ubro Leonard with the steal on the wing Jordan covered by Wiggins now here's Junior defense right on him here's Leonard tried to bank it in but he misses Golden opportunity that he can't make good on. Maybe a wake-up call to the D, though. They can't leave him alone like that. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And it's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. More in-your-face, physical, high-energy plays like that one. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Morris comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Kennard in for Jordan. Raymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing, initiating contact. Create opportunities to get to the line. While the shooting of Morris provides his team with this crucial, just a real valuable part of this team. Golden State's gotten gold from deep in the second quarter. Just two or six from long range. And for the Clippers, their shooting has been great, up over 50%. In fact, 52%. Now, here's Junior, covered by Oubre. Junior, the pass to Zubac. And the dunk by Zubac. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Pass to Curry. Back to Wiggins. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And this is encouraging. Wiggins looking committed to shooting and forcing the D to compromise. And both free throws good for Wiggins. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 47% in the second quarter. Kennard against Wiggins. Here's Junior, and Junior throws it down. This is why Kennard's teammates appreciate him. He's good at sharing the wealth when they're in cup. Here's Curry. He's got 10. They play the clock right. They go two for one. Just got to time it up right. To the inside. Here's Oubre. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. The toughness and energy on the boards. An easy putback to show for. with the ball. He feeds it to Morris. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Rondo. An easy pass turns into a terrible turnover. And that's a possession waste. Here's Curry. 24 seconds left now here in the second. There's 14 seconds left in the first half. Five to shoot. Moves back up. Green. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. With that violent pinball style, Draymond draws a high number of fouls. The Warriors shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Both good from the line that time. Here 
Here's Junior. No good on the last second attempt there. And have to love that tenaciousness there. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just... Turn again with more playoff action from the Western Conference semifinal. You look at Junior in this one, he's been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, it could be one of those epic games, but we still have a long way to go. We've got a buckle. Junior's out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Patrick Bever, and it's George in a shooting guard. That's the group starting the second half for Teron Liu. Shot is off. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. It's George on the wing. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Well, you don't see that very often. A wide open three is usually like a layup. And pretty consistent from range. Wiggins has the natural tools to do a little bit of everything. Here's Beverly. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And Junior throws it down. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. Curry, good. He's used to creating for himself. But this time, Curry is a great decoy. I mean, he's the recipient of a good pass. I mean, that, that, that's a great teamwork. Higgins against Beverly. The dish to Junior. They double him with Wiggins. That one's in there. The Warrior lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Beverly. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. It to Thompson. Leonard with the steal. And pushing it up. Here's the Clippers. A pull up. And it's the Clippers scoring again. Yeah, and for mid range, Leonard's jump shot is money. It doesn't matter if it's off the dribble or catch and shoot. He, he never loses his touch. A shot by Curry. No good. They haven't needed him as much as I thought they would. Too. Nobody near George. Drills the three pointer. George has got eight points. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Curry against Beverly. Here's Thompson. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. He's got 16. You see the high shot release? The quick trigger? But Thompson's always had this shot in his arsenal. Junior dishes to Ibaka. And Ibaka slams it in. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. Wiggins right side. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got six assists in the game. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Give it up for the D. No fear. You risk getting posterized. You know what, though? It's still taking And there's one thing that's never been in question about Wiggins. His ability to be a high-volume scorer. And in case you needed a reminder, he's giving you one tonight. Now, here's Junior. He's tightly guarded. Here's Pascal. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Junior. The Warriors have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. And the Clippers making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Looney's checked in for the Warriors. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Feeds to Junior. And Junior throws it down home. Reggie will find him every time. Here's Thompson. 16 points for him. Pass to Curry. There's the three. And it's Junior with the rebound. Junior's got 13 rebounds in the
the game. Seated. And not backing down from the physical defense. Junior embraces taking on these challenges. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. He throw good, Junior. He hits both from the strike. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Jackson against Curry. Here's the teardrop. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Jackson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And Junior throws it down. Once Junior sees daylight, he does not hesitate. Strong drive. Excellent field. Golden State's gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Here's Looney. Outside Curry. Hits it from three-point range. Curry's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Warriors. Clippers trail by three. And the pass to Junior. Love to see how Jackson runs the offense, keeping his eyes moving so he can set up his guys with the pass. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Golden State Warriors. Thompson outside. And that one goes off. Los Angeles. They've gotten eight of their 11 shots to drop since the break. A great third quarter for them offensively. Leonard, the pass to Junior. Back to Leonard. Stolen by Thompson. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. No one near Curry as he lets it go. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got 19 points. And now he's starting to get it going. Four three points in the game for him. And three are coming this half. Oh, just solid on the one-handed swing. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Timeout called the Warriors. Los Angeles with some changes. Zubac is checked in for Ibaka. Morris comes in for Leonard. And it's Luke Kennard in for Patrick Beverly. Then for the Warriors, Chris, he's checked in for Wiseman. Draymond Green comes in for Looney. And Oubre subbed in for Eric Pascal. Curry's shot is good. Some players might wear down during this kind of run. He's only getting strong. Clippers trail by four. Morris outside. Here's Junior. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. What I love about Junior, he's got grit and tenacity. He's always looking for ways to improve. Good on the second free throw. Now Kirk. One points in the game. He kicks it to Oubre. by Zubas. Four on three as they bring it up. Here's Junior. And the tenacity of Junior's inside play goes right into the defender to get a foul and put the shot up. The Clippers have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. The first one falls. And John Rondo's checked in for Jackson. Both shots good from the strike. The Warriors lead it. And here is Curry. Thompson outside. Over Kinnar. And the shot is good. Dropping in off the front of the rim. Thompson's got four points in the quarter. Man, it's so fun watching Thompson catch fire. He's such an elite score. He only needs a few to fall to get it going. Fundamentals, guys. Using the one-hand swing. Really makes the basics look pretty exceptional. Dishes to Thompson. And it's Junior with the rebound. 
Junior's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. And, yep, that, that's going to be a flagrant foul. Unnecessary content. Boy, a, a very hard foul that time. And the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really kicking down on those sort of plays. And the chance to take the lead gets away because of the miss. Always going up for the LU here. And the jump by Zubac. Neither side has relented a bit in this back and forth affair. And you can sense the energy in the building already as this game is starting to build towards having a terrific finish. Here's Curry with the three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. It's on Rajon Rondo. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. Andrew Beverly, he's checked in for the Clippers. And Golden State also making a change. Wiggins is checked in for Thompson. And he makes all three. L.A. has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Beverly. Loads it up for Junior. Nice feel for Junior in the kick and roll. I mean, with his level of athleticism, he's difficult. And it's the Warriors with the ball. Outside curve. They kick it out to Green. Misses the three. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. And this is how you run the fast break. Junior makes sure to exploit those open court situations. Higgins passes to Chris. Now here's Curry. Golden State moving the ball around. Higgins right side. And the wide open shot from Green. That ball. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got four assists now tonight. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting 61%, showing all the indications of an offense that is locked in. Zubats shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Now I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And the Clippers making a switch here. George has checked in. And here's Curry, who brings it up for Golden State. A two-point game. And a miss there on the triple. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me, because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. Left side, George. Out left to the wing. Pocket six. Here's Junior. Connects again. He's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Shot and game clock separated by five. It's stolen by Morris. And here we go. Fast break. Beverly's got it. Outside, George. Beverly dishes to Junior. To the paint. And the dunk by Zubac. In the lead can make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. Count it. And this is where Chris does a considerable amount of damage. Feels comfortable taking those interior shots. And so, guys, it's Junior making things happen for Los Angeles. He was a true standout at the offensive end. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. I mean, well, if you're the coaching staff, I mean, you're pumped up. This highlight will not only make it on the TV, it'll make it into the film session. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Setting the floor for the Warriors. They've got Curry. Kelly Oubre out there with Draymond Green. Then it's Wiggins, and it's Chris in at the center. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And G.A. is definitely making a difference so far today. And this is why 
why his teammates respect him. The hustle, the energy, kind of love him. And then they continue to control the glass. Pass to Oturu. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. First one falls for him. Heisman's checked in for Chris. And so he hits both. Warriors trail by eight. Wiggins with it. Outside curve. From outside the arc. That ball's nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his fifth assist in this one. Clippers leading by five. Beverly the pass to Junior. It's George on the wing. Pass to Oturu. A shot off that time. And Golden State will come the other way. And that one's good. Wiggins. Wiggins has got ten points in just the second half. See, a lot of people don't recognize Curry for his entire offensive game. I mean, passing is a big part of what he gives. Hits it again. Wow. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, G.A. really taking it to the opposition. Warriors trail by five. They kick it out to Green. Fires for Green. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Morris with the bucket. Well, yeah, Morris is just a tremendous shooter. He has great touch from the the off. Golden State's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Wiggins. Here's Curry. It's hauled in by George. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. And it's Junior missing. Warriors have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. They get it again. Here's Weizman. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. And the offense has just operated really smoothly here in the open floor. Yeah, that's the one area where they've had an edge, but they've been outworked in too many other aspects of this game. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Morris. And the Warriors also making a change. Pascal's checked in. Now, here's Junior, defended by Pascal. With a good mix of power and agility, Leonard can throw it down with the best of them. Has to curve. Off target from three-point range. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Man, awful display for him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth the three-pointer. Curry's got 30 points. And when he gets it going, this is what can happen. They need to think about the double team now. Now, here's Junior. Tight defense on him. Snatched up. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, Beverly's a guy who loves physical contact. He really tries his best to absorb the contact on the shots to draw these fouls. The Warriors making a switch here. Thompson's checked in. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Curry against Beverly. It's Curry with the drive. Eisman kicks to Pascal. Three pointers off the mark. Los Angeles leading by seven. Junior the pass to Beverly. A nice passing here by Los Angeles. Scooped up. Ibaka plays it up and banks it in. And the ability to generate points off offensive rebounds, something Ibaka did a lot earlier in his career before he started spending so much time on the perimeter. Here's Pasco. He dishes it to Thompson. On the pass to Wiseman. Curry on the wing. Just four to shoot. 
for Beverly. Here's Weisman. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. And he knocks down the first one. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. He hits one, then this is the second attempt from the free throw line. Here's George. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. George has got the lead up to 10 now for Los Angeles. And it's really hard to knock George off his balance. He's just so long and strong. Nice take there. Master Oubre. Wiseman with the ball. Working on a buck. Oubre. No one around him. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Here's Junior. And Pascal pulls it down. Warriors trail by 10. And Thompson launches it from deep. Kept alive. Outside Curry. To the middle. Another shot. And the rejection by Leonard. And a sensational individual defender. Leonard will lock you down. Rejections are just part of the package he brings on the defensive end. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Beverly against Kerr. Oubre for three. It's hauled in by the Clippers. Junior's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Here's Curry. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Curry's got 32 points in the game. Oh, that's a great pass by Thompson. You see the skill, the craft. Uh, he's adept to find the guy. Now, here's Junior. Defended by Pascal. Down low. Here's Leonard. Warriors with the rebound. Heisman's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And Thompson gets it to go. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. Here's Junior. Weisman with the rebound. Weisman's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. Not a great play on either end. Bad delivery and way too late to react. Andrew Wiggins checked in for the Warriors. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. And you've got to take your defense up a notch in the playoffs. He takes it up about three notches on that block. Passes it to Ibaka. And here's Junior. Defended by Pascal. Here's Leonard. And Kawhi Leonard hit the slam. Because of Junior's fundamentals, he has a net for making the right against Beverly. Curry passes to Wiseman. Now that one is his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. And that's the perfect setup. Silas Green, defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the puck. And Junior throws it down. Just phenomenal awareness by Beverly. Just dishing the ball to the wide open net. He's Warriors trail by 10. Now Curry. They double team Curry. Here's Wiseman, and finished up by Wiseman. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. And that one's good, Junior. Protect contact with Thompson. Junior knows the shots he's taking. Curry against Beverly. Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got 34. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows. Oh! oh. And the feed from George couldn't be better. The, the timing, the placement, everything about that dish was pinpoint. And here is Curry on loads. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for it. To the paint. Junior. They double him with Wiggins. Hunter kicks to Junior. 
Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Another possession, another assist. The chemistry he has with his guys is impressive. Keeping his head on a swivel, actively seeking out his teammate. A tremendous boost for these guys as this game winds down and what will be a win here in game one of the series for the Clippers. They had a fantastic play from the bench. And this team has great depth and they showed it in this game. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Junior. He's had an effect on every part of this game. Triple double. What more can you say? It's been a one-man show. They took that. Took him no time at all on that one. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, and they aren't just chucking up anything. I mean, they're doing a great job of creating quality looks. Left side, George. Left train. And that one is off. The Warriors go the other way. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save them tonight. Yeah, well, this is tough. Man. When you get to this point in the game, you fought hard, did your best, but this wasn't enough. One second separating the shot clock and game. Clock. Shots good by Ibaka. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. Uh, that's why they're in the driver's seat right now. Looking to put this one away. Another bomb for him right now. His three-point shooting might be the key to cutting that lead. The way he's firing from three today, they ought to keep firing. And so Los Angeles takes the win. A uh, pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And, and you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. It's time for us to say goodbye. We hope you've enjoyed our second round coverage of the NBA Western Conference playoffs. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.